100 minutes of footage just of me eating quesadillas. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I, my last video, I did a classic bright red, in my opinion, a simple Valentine's Day look, but I wanted to do a different take. Like I said in the last video, I had an idea to do something different. I saw this headband when I was out at the mall and it totally inspired me to go in the complete opposite direction and to do something different, do a dark, vampy, valentine's day look that you see right here i'm absolutely obsessed with the way that this came out i just i seriously i love this headband i love it so much i wanted to do like i said um something going in the opposite direction from the classic simple look i want to do something dark and vampy for those out there who want to have a dark vampy valentine's day look i am loving this i'm loving 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 this look so much so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel as well i'm going to try to upload twice a week um so let's hope we kind of stay on that and if you want to see how i got this very dark vampy i want to say like on valentine's day look this dark vampy valentine's day look then please keep on watching I'm eating dinner right now. Quesadilla. And I stole Adelina's headband. All right, let me stuff my face a little longer. This is mom life. 8.44 at night. Eating a quesadilla. And my son is trying to escape out of the bedroom. We're gonna do our brows. I'm using this eye brow pencil. <clears throat> it's by Joa Cosmetics. I got this at CVS. Let's do our little trick here. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I also primed my lids with the Too Faced from the Sight Concealer. We can move on to eyes. I'm gonna start with the Huda Beauty nude palette for my transition shade and take the color play and use this as my first transition shade for this look now i'm gonna go in with the color raw and put that directly in my crease and then I'm going to use a lighter shade to blend this out exactly what we are going for like exactly and now I'll just take a fluffy brush and clean that up why are my brushes so far away from me like seriously I'm gonna take a fluffy Mac brush and we're gonna blend it out we want to blend it out with secret or tickle let's mix them both since we can't decide to the original shade, play, and go over the edges of that. I'm gonna 
dip into that color raw. And pack it on the outside here. Yes. Oh my God. This is coming together. I see my vision coming together right now. I'm gonna take a little brush and blend that out around the edges. Buff it into my crease a little. Now we have something that looks like this. And we're gonna put it, pull it all together in a second. Now I am gonna go in with the color charmed and pop that onto my lids. back into the color raw once more and just blending this together then I'm gonna take the uh, color excite which is like a lid topper it's a um, sparkle lid topper I'm gonna put that right over. I'm just really feeling this color. It's speaking to me. I tried using my brush right here, but I found that the glitter did not go on as well with the brush as opposed to using my finger. So as you can see, after I just go in and dip my finger into the shade Excite and put it right on top of what I just did with the brush, I think in general that these um, colors do go on better with your finger. I found it does have a better color payoff this way. I'm gonna take a little angled black brush and just take some black shadow and go right across my lash line here. Using this technique helps blend my false lashes into my actual lashes and I think in general it just makes everything look a little bit more seamless when I am wearing falsies and I do have this black shadow against my lash line right here. I take a beauty wipe and clean up all this fallout that is under my eyes. I had a ton of fallout on my face and this is the main reason why when you do your makeup you want to do your eyes first. I'm going to prime my skin with the Benefit professional this is the pearl primer so I'm gonna put this all over my skin and I'm going with the same foundation I've been using the Smashbox studio skin I have to try out a new foundation soon. When I went back and looked at this footage, it almost looks like the foundation does not match my skin. Like my chest and my hands look a little bit red or pink, but I think I was feeling like a little bit hot from sitting under the lights and recording and it was hot in my house that day. So I'm not sure why it looks like it doesn't match, but I just wanted to add that because when I went back and looked, I was like, wait a second, why does my face look a complete different color from my chest? So I felt like I needed to just throw that in right there. I'm using the same concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way. I know I need to definitely pick up some new products and try them. These are just really what works for me. So I just, I've been sticking with what works. I feel like I hate the footage of me blending this in 
because my mouth is wide open and it is seriously the most unattractive angle of me. Oh my god, I seriously hope that this video that you can't hear baby Mitchell's like TV playing in the background with that like annoying kid song that they have on like all the videos. The do 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 with the yay. I just heard like the the yay that they have like in every single kid video. I'm gonna do it a little on my forehead. Oh my god, look, it looks like a little heart. <laughs> hey, I'm making a Valentine's Day video and I made a concealer heart on my forehead. Okay, goodbye concealer heart. Set the under eye with the Laura Mercier. Secret brightening. It really does set everything in place under your eye very well. I forgot how much I liked this. And our hourglass translucent setting powder because this is the best setting powder. I'm gonna buff this into the skin. Let's finish off the under eye. Actually, let's contour the face. Oh my god, what's up with my contour brush? We're gonna be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I really like the way it looked in the last video that I did. So we're gonna do it again. So we are just gonna do our normal contouring routine. I'm gonna be taking it on the hollows of my cheekbones and also on the temples of my forehead. One of my favorite parts of my makeup routine is contouring and I really have been liking the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I use their um, contour stick so that's why I wanted to try this again and I'm gonna be taking it on my jawline as well just to give my jaw a little bit more definition. I feel like my jaw doesn't have really good definition so doing this helps me achieve achieve more of a look that I like and also taking it down my nose per usual the same thing that you guys have seen in every video so far but you know what it is now I'm gonna go in with the Mac give me some bronzer bonds up my face a little bit well a lot of it let's be honest And in with our Anastasia Blush Trio Pink Passion. I don't know what color I should use. I think I'm gonna use the dark. We're gonna, you know what? Let's mix. I'm gonna go in with the dark. Finish up the face. Let's carve it out a little bit with our Kat Von D shade and light palette. It's that time. I'm gonna spray my face and then highlight, and then do my lashes and my lips. It's just the order I like to do it in. Now I am going to pop on some falsies. And here they are. These are in the style Tokyo. I'm not sure if I said that last time, but I love these. They go with the look perfectly, so let's highlight. I'm going to be highlighting with the Becca Champagne Pop. Now 
Now it's time for my favorite part, which is going to be the lip. I'm gonna do a very dark lip. Now I am going to contour and line my lips using these Kat Von D pencils and go and do a very dark, vampy lip. So after I did this look, I realized that I did not need to go and contour my lips like I did with these two liners. Like I said before, it is my favorite part to do. I always like to contour, but contouring is only necessary when you are using a lighter color lip shade and then what you are laying down with your pencil. So as you are going to see, the color that I do go in with is extremely dark and it covered up any of the lip liner and any of the contouring that I did do. However, I do like to line my lips just for a sense of where I am putting the lip color but it was completely unnecessary. I'm going to be using a Too Faced Melted Matte in the color Evil Twin. Now I am going to fix my hair and throw my headband on that I got for this look, so I will be right back. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So this is the final look. I absolutely love how everything came out. I am really feeling this dark vampy lip with this headband i saw the headband and this was the inspiration that started this whole look i got this headband from claire's i knew that i had this lip color and i just wanted to do my last tutorial i did something bright and classic and i wanted to do something a little dark a little you know this to me this screams valentine's day i absolutely love this i'm obsessed with this i have red nails this is just everything. This is just giving me total Valentine's Day vibes. I love it. I I can't get enough. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you for supporting. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.